Hello everybody and welcome back to our Rain World modding tutorial series. Uh, in this video I'm going to be explaining how you can add a shelter to your region. Now this is going to have a little bit of level editing um, and I won't be going over how to use a level editor in this video. I'm assuming that you already know how to use and operate a level editor. So in your level editor of choice, so for me that's Rain ED, what you're gonna want to do is uh, open up the tiles menu and find shelters. Now, these four shelter gate tiles um, matter. So these are, you know, the directions that they uh, go in. So Shelter gate N or shelter gate uh, north is if you want the exit of your shelter to go upwards. So something like this, right? And then that's, that's the same for northeast and south and west. So let's say I put a south gate here and you will be like this. And then we can do whatever you want. So what vanilla would do is have these, these tiles, but psh, that's lame. What if I don't want those, huh? Huh? I can be a little more wacky. Hello everybody, future Miss Crypt here. Um, I probably should have explained why you want to use these shelter gate tiles. The reason for that is because these tiles are basically what makes those uh, look empty. This is the, you know, proper transition between the, like, animated gate part that the game adds versus what's baked into the level. So you can technically not have one of these, but it might look strange when the uh, animated gate is over it, if it's not, you know, done right. So if you want your gate to look normal, you're gonna want to use one of these shelter gate tiles. Okay, that's all for me. I'll let you get back to uh, past uh, Ms. Crypt. So here I've made my beautiful shelter. So I'm gonna save this as XX underscore S, uh, one, and I'm going to render that out. So you're gonna to want to find your room and you're gonna copy it. And then you're gonna go into your mod folder, go into world, go into xx-rooms and paste it in there. Then I'm gonna copy the name of the room, go to xx, open up world xx, and I'm gonna add a new room. Um, and I'm gonna connect this to the first room that we made. And then, because this is a shelter, we need to mark it or tag it as a shelter. And then you can open the game. So once you're in game, you can go ahead and load into your save. So for me, that's Monk. Oh, looks like my game is broken. So I can open up warp menu and warp into our region, go into our room and <gasps> look. Oh my God, it's the shelter. Ah, yes. How beautiful is that? It appears I'm hungry. So I'm gonna give myself food. And then boom, shelter. How lovely is that? We have a shelter. How delightful. So if we exit, we should be in our region. <gasps> We've saved. So that's all I have for this video. I know it was quite short, um, but thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.